What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope everybody's doing well out there on this Thursday. I'm doing real good myself. Um, today, I just want to briefly touch on uh, voting, okay? I said, as many of you may have heard me say that, you know, as far as voting go, um, I'm done with all of that. Thanks to, you know, Obama. That was the last time that I voted basically the last two times that I voted because I voted for him twice, all right? And he got into office twice. And <clears throat> within those uh, two terms that he did, he did nothing for us as a people. Did everything for everyone else. Um, you got a lot of other uh, black um, people who just love President Obama to this day. But be that as it may, whatever. I said that I wasn't going to do that, you know, anymore simply because I figured out that um, I wasn't going to give a man my consent to rule over me. You see what I mean? It says here in um, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man and maketh flesh his arm and whose heart departeth from the lord i don't want my i don't want to be departed from the lord by trusting in what man says and what man does when it comes down to uh ruling okay this is the reason why i say this system that's known as white supremacy needs to fall and we already see the foundations the foundation of this whole entire system cracking daily all right it needs to fall now this uh particular little clip it's not that long it's only like um 33 seconds i think is joe biden and as we know joe biden is actually uh campaigning very very hard now for the black uh people's vote right and uh this is him back in 2012 when he was campaigning for i think the obama administration you know against mitt romney now the thing with joe biden is this in this video you're going to hear joe biden said they're going to put you all back in chains all right or what have you but he was talking about far as them moving jobs from a to b from america to um what china mexico outsourcing in other words basically this is what he was addressing but it never you know um left my mind i mean that them those words that he said is etched in my mind about they're going to put you all back in chains he was talking about mitt romney you know but as far as I'm concerned, you see, he basically, Mitt Romney was, um, you know, uh, 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 representing the Republicans. But as far as I'm concerned, Republican and Democrat are both two fangs on the same snake. This is the way I see it, because that's the way it is, all right? They may, you know, like teeth and tongue fall out, but they still in the same mouth. <laughs> you see what I mean? And this is the reason why I say as well. Whatever Mitt, he said Mitt Romney would do, he means to do the same damn thing, even though he represents the Democratic Party. And this is the reason why I want to encourage um, those would-be black voters that look at this man as some kind of savior for our problems don't do it let the system of voting die i know a lot of people are going to say things like uh our forefathers and foremothers died for the right fighting for the right for us to vote yes they did <clears throat> you know, in, a, in a lot of cases they did what did it do what did it do okay Voting did not bring us to the point to where we are as a people to this day. The Most High did that, okay? And he's going to continue to elevate us to greatness of what we're meant to be. For those of us 
that believe in doing things his way, not the man's way, not the white man's way, not the white man's rule, because that's what it all boils down to. And then we talk about getting black people, you know, into politics and getting them to, to uh, represent our wants or what have you. Yep, but the thing is, is this, once that happens, what always wind up happens is they pretty much maintain the status quo as the way the system is ran, all right? They don't change anything, don't nothing, no wealth flows down to us, trickles down in any way, shape, or form. That's what it all boils down to, see? But y'all listen to Joe Biden about this chain thing. Check this out. Clear picture of what they all value. They said it. Every Republican voted for it. Look at what they value and look at their budget and what they're proposing. Romney wants to let the, he said in the first hundred days, he's going to let the big banks once again write their own rules. Unchain Wall Street. They're going to put y'all back in chains. <laughs> he said he's going to do nothing about stopping the practice of outsourcing. Republicans even voted. Now, right there, they're going to put you all back in chains. Now, ain't but one race <laughs> that I know of, that I've ever seen in chains. Who is he talking to? Who was he talking to, okay? You might hear a lot of those white people down there in that damn uh, crowd talking about some boo and all that old shit, whatever. But there's only one race I've ever seen here in this country that represents being in chains, and we all know who that race is. This is my point. I'm not voting for Mitt, I mean, for, for uh, uh, Joe Biden or any other clown that comes around that just wants his turn at running the wheel. That's basically what it all boils down to. See? And in light of everything that's happening to us in this country as a people right now, I would say this is what their agenda is to do, to put us back in chains. But this is what our forefathers and our foremothers are more renowned for doing and it's more worthy of fighting for. They fought for to come up out of them chains. Now what we got to do is fight for not to go back in those fucking chains. All right. And again, I'm going to say this in light of every damn thing that's taking place in this country right now with us as a people. With the police murders. With uh, white racist pig skin civilians that want to murder, lynch, and what have you. We ain't got no time to be talking about putting no white man and giving no white man no consent to rule over us. On who's going to do better in office for the black people. They ain't going to do a damn thing just like they never really did. But lie to just get your vote. And people like Roland Martin. He needs to quit pushing this kind of agenda. Black people need to start voting more and all that old bullshit. You know, what black people need to start doing more. Is acknowledging the most high. And repent. So he can heal us and heal our land as a people. That's what we need to do. Then that way, he can use us as his battle axe to overcome this, this uh, devil right here that wants to put us back in chains. All right? That's all I got to say on this particular situation. You know, uh, I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Y'all tell me what y'all think, you know. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we're being watched. Simply because we are, this is James, and I'm out. Peace.